everybody this is shock with some more good news another person has left atheism and they have become a Christian I have their email that they sent me through YouTube here in my hand and I'm gonna read that to you and let's give you a little update before I read you this testimony about another atheist becoming a Christian that was emailed to me this morning I want to talk to you about uh, some <laughs> kind of some funny things which are been going on in our conference room and if you're watching this video you see right below the video where it says show more info or more info do so you see that website www.shockonout.net or you might see it on the annotation on the video well when you go there you're gonna see a bunch of things first of all you're gonna see a video there of a debate between Christopher Hitchens and William Lane Craig and Christopher Hitchens is an atheist and he loses the debate I mean he did he just was horrible um, what happens is there's a part of the debate where you can cross-examine the other person and the other person can't evade or run from the question or whatever right and that's what I love about debates because usually on YouTube you're just talking back and forth you can't really get the other person to answer the question they'll just evade right well what's awesome in this debate is Hitchens is asked a question you're gonna see it and he starts evading and he starts uh, he has like a little earpiece uh, microphone on and he's done this in a few debates I've seen already where when he gets stuck he has this technique where he goes oh is my microphone loose can you hear me and and he starts moving it all around and stuff and it's it's quite pathetic if you ask me <laughs> um, and he does it again in this debate many of you have emailed me saying yeah that's uh, known as the Hitchens tactic you know he kind of does that well I've been getting a lot of people uh, becoming Christians and well I don't want to say I've been doing it but the information that I've been giving people has been doing it so the only credit I can get is I'm just kind of like you know pointing them in the right way um, so basically what happens is uh, people are going to this website right below shockandow.net and they're watching this debate between Hitchens and Craig and this is like one of the top atheist debaters versus one of the top Christian debaters and Craig mops the floor with the atheist he does it lovingly he does it professionally but he destroys atheism Craig does he destroys it in debate and when you really look at really the failure of atheism and how the arguments that it has are just so weak uh, it is obvious that the rational intelligent decision is Christian theism it certainly is not atheism so before I read this letter of another atheist becoming a Christian <laughs> let me tell you what happened last night in the chat room we have a video audio conference room where you can hear me talk you can see people on camera talking you can type to them and we do a lot of debates and discussions there and people come in there and they really see how Christian theism honest to goodness is the more rational choice by far and you get to see live right in front of your eyes really the failures of man-made religion versus the truth in Jesus Christ and the failures of man-made humanism atheism versus the truth in Jesus Christ which which is uh, more plausible it makes more rational sense so last night I was in there and first of all there was this one atheist in there who shall be nameless because I couldn't believe he said this and when I was debating him recently we were talking about objective moral values and under atheism I said you know how could rape be objectively wrong under atheism because um, the guy who I was debating I'll just say his name Gary um, he was saying that there are no objective moral values under atheism it's whatever society decides right so I said well what if um, you know society decides that rape is okay like a group of society well then it's right so his his philosophy was there really is no objective value so last night we were in the room and that topic came up again and this girl um, got on and she just plowed into the atheist and saying what the blank is wrong with you saying that and she was an atheist herself by the way and she was mad at the other atheist because he was saying 
you know that it, it's not necessarily uh, it's not objectively wrong it's sub it's basically subjectively wrong and he's saying you got to learn it and I was like well how the hell you learn something like that that's just a horrible thing to say that society learns it and you know it it was bizarre and then afterwards I got a bunch of emails saying that guy needs help um, I even finally came out and told him I said dude you got to get some help mentally I mean this is I mean but this is what happens uh, to folks so but anyways at the end of that uh, little <laughs> conversation we had it was wild you, um, you should check it out go to shotgunnell.net go into our chat room you'll see conversations like that um, uh, there was another atheist there a nice guy um, he's uh, got a little more class and dignity uh, Joseph and Joseph's an atheist and he said you know he goes uh, shock he goes I can't remember what he was referring to whether it was uh, oh I remember he was saying that because I in, in my debate with this Gary dude he's talking about how evil God is and I'm like Gary you really believe that he's like yes and so I and then I said well then see then there's no question that God exists. The only thing you and I disagree on is I believe God is good, holy, and just, and you believe God is evil, but we both believe God exists. And I got him there, and everyone in the room started laughing at uh, Gary because he basically is saying his opinion is God's evil and God exists. So Joseph last night in the conference room said, well, Shock, I don't think that's really going to sway anyone towards Christianity that an atheist says... Uh, you know God is evil and I said oh actually it does I've had many people become Christians because they realize that atheists do believe in God you, you can't say like Peter Hitchens Peter Hitchens used to be an atheist he's now a Christian and he said you know the hypocrisy of atheism he said was overwhelming they say God is evil but he doesn't exist <laughs> think about how stupid that is and and Peter Hitchens left atheism to become a Christian so Joseph says um, so shock I don't think that that's gonna sway anyone to Christianity I go well, actually it has and I've actually I read him some emails like this I started reading him some emails like this in the room and unknown to me why I'm reading the emails of people saying that they left atheism and they become Christian but one guy there says shock that's my email I sent to you because you know when you log in you have little names like motorcycle rider or whatever you, you know you, a lot of people just have little nicknames when they log in Sort of like on your YouTube channel, have you have your YouTube channel, but it's not your first and last name. So I go, oh, cool. So here was a guy right there in the room saying, yeah, I was one of the people that left atheism from some of the arguments and the, the things that you show me. So I so I go, cool. I, and I read another one. I started reading another one. And there was another person in the room, uh, Donald Kelly. And he had logged in with his name. And he goes, yeah, shock, that's my email. And he became a Christian. Um, and so today it is with great joy that another person has left atheism to become a Christian. And here's the email. He says, shock, God is there. I know it. Shock, God is there. I know it. He says, and, and by the way, um, if you're the one that had written this to me, hey man, God bless you. Uh, great to be friends with you. I've been friends with this person on YouTube for a long time. And he's been through some struggles and some different things. And um, it's like he's become stronger through it. Listen what he says. He says, I can't believe it, but it's true that God works in weird ways. I've been away for, from God for so long. Now, let me see if this guy in the car is going to get over in front of my lane. His signals. No. He says, I haven't been trying to be near him. But that has all changed. I was at my lowest of lows for a long time now. Let me get over here. Things happen in my life that were changing me into something bad. But at my lowest, I went to church for the first time this year. And here it is. And God saved me. I don't know if you could see that. I opened up the Bible and what I seen, Psalm 34, 18, and then uh, I believe he quotes it here, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I've had a crushed spirit for so long, and it's just amazing 
that God knows about it and is there for me. I'm not joking when I say that God saved me. And then in parentheses, he puts, not that I was going to kill myself. I'm not that crazy, LOL. And then he says, I guess I'm telling you all this because really you helped me become a Christian and a motorcycle rider, which in my opinion is some of the two best things you could possibly be. He says, I guess I'm telling you this, uh, telling you all this because you really helped me become a Christian and a motorcycle rider more than anyone else. So yes, God bless you, man. Welcome to Christianity. Wonderful, awesome, brilliant salvation of Christianity. So God bless you guys. Now, before I go, and by the way, uh, take that humanist. Take that, you God-hating people on YouTube. Another person has decided to love God instead of hate him. Take that, guys. <laughs> um, and you know what uh, he puts here? Because sometimes when people become uh, Christians, they get bashed so bad on YouTube. You guys know this. The God-haters just attack you. He puts, look, if you happen to talk about this, leave my name out of it. I don't blame him. Because you'll get so much spam and hate on your channel if in our stupid ungodly times of 2011 you decide to love God um, now listen one of the main reasons why a lot of people also are leaving atheism in droves is this video that I got on my channel I should say my website right here below at shockandnow.net where the world famous Christopher Hitchens loses miserably in debate horribly as he stalls for time at one point um, he's stalling for time and the crowd actually starts laughing how pathetic it was you have got to see atheism being destroyed in debate right below here when you go to shockonow.net and you'll see the video right there I, I promise you you will be shocked and uh, God bless you guys yes another person clutched from the hands of Satan and saved through Jesus Christ. I love it.